Visions of Mana is out in just one month's time. And Square Enix just shadow dropped a demo. I've played through it, and now I want to talk about my first impressions. Visions of Mana is a game that I have been immensely excited for since it first got announced at the Mana 30th Anniversary stream broadcast as an unnamed Mana title. Come December 2023, we received the first trailer at the Game Awards. This has been on my radar non-stop and since the demo dropped, I thought I'd give my first thoughts and impressions and what I think about it so far. So let's talk about it. But before we do, if you love JRPGs, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and let me know. Have you played the Visions of Mana demo yet? And if so, what did you think about it? Hit up the comments because I would love to see your opinion on it. Anyways, enough chat. Let's talk about the Visions of Mana demo. First things first, since I know everyone is probably wondering, no, the Visions of Mana demo does not continue into the full game. The demo drops you into a snowy field, which feels like it's partway into a chapter. However, if you complete the demo, you do get three weapons for the full game so at least there is some sort of benefit to playing the demo. The demo for Visions of Mana took me just short of an hour. This is including a little bit of exploration and talking to various townspeople. So it's a healthy length without taking too long. It actually felt a little bit short, considering a lot of demos that we get these days are like upwards of three hours long, but it's long enough to give you a taste of what the game is going to involve. When starting the game, you get an option for either performance mode or graphics mode. This is a common occurrence with a lot of video games these days. You can either have a higher resolution or you can have a better frame rate. Naturally, as frame rate is more important to me, I opted for the performance mode, though I was somewhat disappointed. The performance of the demo is kind of bad. I noticed several frame rate drops all over the place. It was kind of jarring with it being an action RPG. Keep in mind that I was playing on the PS5, so the PC version may not have an issue with this. The demo consists of four main areas. You start out in a snowfield, which focuses on some minor platforming and time control. Then you get to experience the world map, which I'll get into later. Then a town, which is standard JRPG fare. Then finally a boss fight giving you a taste of several different gameplay experiences. Gameplay-wise, you get to play as three characters. You can play as our main hero Val, as a rune knight, he wields a broadsword and fire magic. Karina, as an oracle, he uses a staff and uses lightning and curative magic. And Morlay, the nightblade, he uses daggers and has ice magic. Each character plays a bit different. I couldn't see the ability to change weapons, which was unfortunate because the greatsword that Val's equipped with is incredibly slow. I found Morlay much more fun to play with his speedy daggers. One nice aesthetic feature I noticed is that you can equip a weapon skin. So if you got a weapon and you like how it looks, you can get the stats of a new weapon but equip the skin of another. It's a minor feature, but I know there are going to be a lot of people that appreciate this. These tiny aesthetic options are just nice to have. Other than combat, the world is huge and wide open. There is a ton of exploration on the world map, and I enjoy just casually running around, looking for treasure boxes and other miscellaneous items. The best part about it though, when you're on the world map, you get to run around on a pickle. A pickle is like a giant cat armadillo thing, or I guess maybe it's more like a dog. But still, it's like a dog armadillo. It's adorable. And I found it incredibly entertaining that you can bulldoze over random enemies with Pickle. Just dash at full speed into enemies and they take damage. It's incredibly fun. Graphically, Visions of Mana is freaking gorgeous. This game has to be one of the most beautiful, cartoony looking games I have ever played. This is one of the main things I noticed when I first started the game. If I had to describe it, it's like the Trials of Mana remake if the graphics were turned up to 11. The colors are so bright, so vibrant, they just pop all over the screen. Everything is so detailed, I especially love the water effects. Everything is so warm and inviting. I know graphics aren't everything to some people, and they don't deem them as important aspects of video games, but boy howdy does this game looking gorgeous amplify the experience. Square Enix absolutely knew what they were doing with this game and put in so much love and care into it. Other than that, the music is great, 
As is every mana game, it sounds just like Kenji Ito, and I wouldn't be surprised if he composed this game as well. My one and only main gripe about the game is frame rate. I'm hoping that they can fix it for the full release, or get out some patches later on down the line to fix this. Outside of that, Visions of Mana is looking amazing so far, and I can't wait for the full game to come out on August 29th, 2024 for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series consoles, and on Steam. No Switch release has been announced yet, but I'm like 90% sure it's going to be a launch title for the Switch 2 or whatever Nintendo's new console is called. Will you be picking up Visions of Mana? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to be part of a wonderful JRPG community, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and ding that notification bell so you don't miss any of my JRPG videos. This has been Shinky, thanks for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day. Super Retro Force.